everyone this is the fourth lecture of our example number 1 which is the design of cantilever retaining wall so students in the last lecture we are discussing about our step number 3 which is stability calculation so students in the stability check we are calculating first horizontal force and moment due to horizontal force so this force is called as sliding force which is 134.67 kN and the moment generated due to horizontal force is called as overturning moment so the value of overturning moment is 300.31 kN into meter now what is the direction so the direction of n the direction of horizontal force due to moment is anti clockwise moment okay so it is discuss over here because our horizontal force is acting due to back field okay so this force due to back field is called as lateral earth pressure so whenever this lateral earth pressure is acting on this side so we have to find out all the forces and all the loads and all the moments at the lower left corner which is at the end of toe okay so whenever this force is acting on this side it is generated anti clockwise moment okay so in the last lecture we are discussing about our horizontal force and after that we are discussing about our vertical force which is due to the self weight of retaining wall and the back field which is acting at downward side at the heel portion okay so after that we are calculating our summation of w which is called as sigma w is 368.26 kN and the moment due to vertical force okay so your left corner is over here and whenever your vertical force is acting on this direction your moment is like this so all the moments is acting as vertical and clockwise moments okay so the value of total downward force which is summation of w is 368.26 kN and the moment due to vertical force is 923.49 kN into meter after that we are calculating about the cg cg of retaining wall okay so generally our cg of retaining wall is at exact at the center point of the base so it is 4 divided by 2 so let us check our cg is where so the equation of finding out the cg cg is denoted by x bar so the equation is summation of w into x bar is equal to net moment at to so we have to find out our x bar so what is the equation of so what is the value of summation of w so summation of w means self weight of self weight of vertical forces which is 368.26 and net moment net moment means this is clockwise moment and this is anti clockwise moment so our net moment is clockwise minus anti clockwise means bigger value minus smaller value so our net moment is 923.49 minus 300.31 divided by summation of w because we have to find out x bar then our summation of w is at denominator part so the value of x bar is 1.69 okay so generally our cantilever retaining walls cg is at exit 2 meter because our base slab is at 4 meter okay but our cg over here is at 1.69 meter from lower left corner so there will be some distance 
okay so that distance is called as eccentricity so the equation of eccentricity is b by 2 minus x bar so actually our cg is at 2 point but our cg is at 1.69 meter so the difference is 0.31 meter so this is the value of eccentricity after that we are calculating our four stability calculations check so our first stability check is p maximum maximum pressure at toe the equation is summation of w divided by b in the bracket 1 plus 6 e upon b this equation is already discussed in your semester 5 subject soil mechanics okay so the value of summation w is 923.49 the value of b is 4 One is constant, six is constant. E, E is zero point thirty one, and B is equal to four. After putting all this value and after calculating all the data, we will find our answer is one thirty four point eighty six kilonewton per meter square. So there are four stability checks in that stability checks number three is called as our maximum pressure. is not exceeding soil bearing capacity so in this example our safe bearing capacity of soil or it is also called as soil bearing capacity is 175 kN per meter square so you can see that our maximum pressure is 134.86 and our make and our safe bearing capacity is 175 kN per meter square so 134.86 is less than 175 means our maximum pressure not exceed our safe bearing capacity so we will save in our first stability check our second stability check is called as minimum pressure so our minimum pressure is at hill side so the equation is not much change but only change is plus and minus whenever this p maximum for maximum this sign is plus and for minimum this sign is minus so students after putting all these values we will get our answer 49.25 kN per meter square so there are four stability checks in that stability checks number 4 is called as no tension at base it means our minimum pressure will be always positive okay because you all know that negative sign consider for tension and positive sign is consider for compression so whenever your t minimum is less than 0 it means there is some tension in base so in that case we have to redesign our cantilever retaining walls dimension but in this case you need you can see that our p minimum is 49.25 kN per meter square which is greater than 0 it means no tension at base okay so we will pass in our second stability check calculation our third stability check is factor of safety against overturning so the equation is overturning sorry restoring moment divided by overturning moment so what is the value of restoring moment this value is coming from the vertical force moment so you all know that our restoring force is 923.49 and our overturning moment mo is due to horizontal force is 300.31 so we will get our answer is 3.07 but you all know that our factor of safety against overturning is minimum 1.55 so this answer is greater than 1.55 so we will save instability against overturning so 
we will save against three stability checks now the most important stability checks is factor of safety against sliding because if your sliding retaining wall is slide then you will redesign your retaining wall so the equation of factor of safety against sliding is restoring force divided by sliding force so the value of sliding force is from table number 1 this is our table number 1 in which you can see that your lateral force is acting force on the retaining wall that they are move away okay so the value is 134.67 kN now we will find out our restoring force so in restoring force there are two forces are there first one is friction force and second one is passive earth pressure force okay so what is the equation of friction force so this equation is constant that whenever the angle is 0 degree okay so the equation is mu into summation of w so our value of mu mu means coefficient of friction okay so this value is 0.5 and summation of w is 368.26 so we will get our answer 184.13 kN now we have to find out passive earth pressure force so that case we have to draw this figure as compulsory because passive force it means we have to force we have to act force on retaining wall to move not away move towards is called as passive earth pressure so whenever this force is acting as active earth pressure then this force is acting at passive earth pressure so our soil is below this this level so what is the height this height is this is 0.5 and 0.5 is shear keys height this is the main reason why we have to put shear key at the base of retaining wall okay so total height is 1 meter so the equation of p is kp into gamma into h dash okay kp means coefficient of passive earth pressure gamma is density of soil and h dash h dash means this height this height is 0.5 plus 0.5 so our total height is 1 but we have to find out passive earth pressure force so it is already discussed that whenever in this chapter we have to find out force then we have to find out the area of pressure diagram so what is the area of pressure diagram so you can see that your pressure diagram is triangle so the area is 1/2 base is kp into gamma into h dash and altitude is also h dash so the equation is 1/2 kp gamma into h dash square okay so after putting all this value we will get our answer is 27 so total restoring force is the summation of friction force plus passive earth pressure force so the summation is 211.13 kN okay so after calculating this total restoring force we have to find out factor of safety against sliding so the equation is restoring force divided by sliding force and we will get our answer 1.57 which is greater than 1.55 okay so we will get all the factor of safety against the stability is safe okay so in this step we have to find out first of all horizontal force and moment due to horizontal force second is vertical force and moment due to vertical force after that we have to find out x bar after that we have to find out eccentricity after that we have to check four stability checks first one is p maximum 
which is always less than SBC. Second one is P minimum, which is always greater than zero. And after that, we have to find out two factor of safety against sliding and overturning, which is always greater than 1.55. Okay, so students, in any example, in GTO, these first three steps is very most important for the example point of view. Okay, so you all know that in the this fourth lecture, we have to cover our step, step number three. So in the next lecture, we are discussing about our main components design. So first of all, we have to design our design of stem. After that, design of heel slab and at last, design of toe slab and design of shear key. Okay, so this is the end of today's session. Thank you.